South Africa is not, and I often think this visits flying in from the UK, despite my heritage and anti-apartheid campaigning and, you know, close interest and, and, uh, and there's a lot of the country still in my heart. I often think the debate in South Africa is curiously and uniquely parochial. Uh, and we're living in a very troubled world. And one of the questions that hasn't yet been asked about this fu the future of the country in whatever way the government of national unity plays out is where is South Africa pointing in the world? We're in a most dangerous situation in my lifetime. And my dad fought for the South African army, the Royal Natal Carboneers in the Second World War against the Nazis in the Italian campaign and um, was badly wounded there and lost uh, very close uh, friends uh, and, and comrades in, in the battles in, in Italy. But um, I think the world is now in a more dangerous place, including Europe, than it's been since that time since the end of the Second World War in 1945. You've got a war in in Europe, in, in the, the Russian attack on Ukraine, and South Africa up to now has been deeply ambivalent on that. Well, I say ambivalent, the term neutral has implied, uh, has been interpreted by everybody in, in, the, in the government from the president down as being effectively siding with President Putin. And South Africa's got some tough no choices to make.